This lesson focuses on editing a title to a sequence. When you're ready to edit a title to a sequence, make it a habit of moving the blue position indicator to the middle of the playback area within the source window. By parking in the middle of the playback area, this will give you extra room at the front of the title if you need to extend its length when it's in a sequence. The next step is to mark an area in your sequence for where you would like your title to go. Now normally, a title will go onto a video track 2, which means you will be able to see what's underneath the title on video track 1. To do this, turn on the video 2 track and turn off all the other tracks. Notice how Media Composer automatically patches the V1 source track to the video 2 sequence track. With only one active sequence track, Media Composer assumes that's the track you'll be editing to. This behavior is called auto patching. And as you will see in a moment, it's something that can be turned off. If auto patching is not turned on, you will need to manually patch your source track by dragging an arrow to the sequence track. Now mark an in point and an out point for an area in your sequence for where you'd like your title to go. Then press the red overwrite button or the B key to edit the title into the marked area of the sequence. If you need to extend or shorten the length of the title, that can be done by entering into trim mode. And an easy way to do that is to draw a lasso around the edge of the title and drag it out to the distance that you need. If you would like your title to fade up, press the quick transition button. You can also find this button on your keyboard. Then enter in a duration for the dissolve and press enter. Now the title will fade up. Let's check it out. And you can be too. Tickets are now on sale for the February 28th Fight Night. You can also make changes to a title that has already been placed in a sequence. To do this, make sure the position indicator is over the title you want to change. Then make sure the track indicator is turned on. Then press the Effect Mode button. This will open the Effect Editor window. In the upper left corner of the window, click on the Edit Title box. This will reopen the Title tool where you can make a change. When you are finished editing your title, make sure the Title Tool window is active, and then navigate to the File menu and choose Save Title As. Choosing Save As instead of Save will allow you to specify the correct bin for the updated title. Notice that a new title has been saved to the bin and it's also updated directly within the sequence. Now, when it comes to working with titles and graphics, it's important to take note of the location of this monitor icon. In order to see your title on V2, this monitor icon needs to be above V1. By default, the track monitor icon will automatically follow the location of the V1 source track. This means when you patch the V1 source track back to the V1 sequence track, the monitor icon will move down a layer. This means you won't be able to see the title that's on V2 until you move the monitor icon back up a layer. If you would like the monitor icon to stay where you place it, you can change its behavior. To do this, navigate to the Project window and click on the Settings tab. Double click on the Timeline Settings. At the top of the Timeline Settings dialog box, click on the Edit tab. This is where you will see the options for Auto Patching and Auto Monitoring. I recommend that you turn off Auto Monitoring. In doing so, this will prevent the monitoring icon from moving to another track unless you change it yourself. OK, now you have the basics of editing a title to a sequence. Ready, and you can be too. Tickets are now on sale for the February 28th Fight Night at the UNF Arena.